In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Android smartphone or Android tablet to your HP DeskJet 4255E and I'll also show you how to scan and how to print using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. The first step is to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network, but unfortunately there is no screen on it, there is no way to type your password or do stuff like that. So we'll need to download the HP Smart App on the phone to be able to do everything. So go on the Play Store, type the search icon over here, and in the search bar we're going to type HP Smart. This is the app we need to download, HP Smart, made by HP Inc. So go ahead, update the app or download the app. So this is the main screen of the app. If you already have connected printers in the past, you're going to see them on the top. But don't worry, if it's the first time you're connecting something, simply press on the top right corner where you see the plus sign. If you don't have any printers connected already, you're going to see a big button over here saying add printer. Click on it. Then select new printer, it's the first option. Select Wi-Fi. Press continue. Press continue. It will search for all the printers that are around and you should see your printer appearing in this list right on the top here, DeskJet 4200 series. If you do not see it, it may mean that your printer is not in pairing mode and this is why it's not communicating. To know that your printer is in pairing mode, you see over here, this is the Wi-Fi button. You should see it blinking blue. If it's blinking blue, it's great. It's in pairing mode. If your printer is not in pairing mode, what you need to do, I won't do it now because mine is and I don't want to remove it from pairing mode. So you're going to press the Wi-Fi button at the same time as this X button, both of these at the same time for three seconds. After 3 seconds, the power button should start blinking, wait around 20 seconds and then the printer will be in pairing mode and you're going to see this blue light blinking. Alright, let's go back to the smartphone. So I'll press on my printer. Now it will detect the Wi-Fi network that your smartphone is currently connecting and make sure that this is the network that you want your printer to be connected to. If it's not the same, click on change network. Then press over here and type the Wi-Fi password of your Wi-Fi network. Press continue. When you see this appearing on your screen, simply press once on the I button on the printer. And the setup will continue on your smartphone. It your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Press continue. If you see this screen over here, it happened to me many times, I don't know why, okay, we're sorry, something went wrong, simply press exit setup. It's not that important, honestly, because the printer is now connected to the Wi-Fi. Now go ahead and open on your phone or tablet any files you would like to print. Here I have opened one, it was on my phone memory. Press the three dots, select print. On the top over here, select your printer from this list, HP DeskJet 4200 series. Press the small arrow. Make sure these settings are okay with you, so how many pages, what type of paper you're using, do you want in color or black and white, stuff of this nature. And then press this print button. Now it will simply tell you that whatever you're printing will pass through the servers of HP, through HP Smart App. Unfortunately, there's no way around this, so press OK. If it's not working, like in my case, it just took the page and then stop. OK, it simply means that you need to go on the HP Smart App. Let me just go back here. And you need to log in into your HP account. If you don't have one already, it takes just a few seconds to make one, it's free. This has nothing to do with their subscription services. It's You need an HP account to be able to print, unfortunately, using the Wi-Fi. So on the lower uh, right side here, click on account, and they will ask you to log in into your HP account. And you can also print using the HP Smart app if you find this easier. So over here in this main menu, um, make sure that you select 
print document or print photo, depending what you're trying to print. I'll select document, select my photos, select if it's a PDF or a JPEG that is located in your My Photos of your Android smartphone. If you select PDF, it will simply scan all your documents that are on your phone. Click on the one you want to print, select Print Preview, select this small uh, arrow over here. Here you can change a few different settings, so how many pages, you know, all the pages or only a few, let's say I just want one page, so if you want in color and other stuff, press the print button when you're ready to print and you're going to see printing now. Wait a few seconds and it should come out. So here's the results. Now let me show you how to scan. This printer has two different scanners. There's one on top over here. This is the automatic document feeder. In case you have multiple pages you would like to scan at the same time. And we also have a normal scanner glass. Let me show you this one first and then I'll go and show you the next one. So take your paper, place it facing down oops, like this with the top part of your page towards the left side. Now we need to glide this paper so this corner of the paper touches this corner of the scanner. Okay, so just need to make them both touch over here, the top left corner. Close the scan lid, go on the app main screen over here and we're going to find scan. Here we go, printer scan. Click on this option. Next on the top, make sure you have selected the size of your paper that you're trying to scan. Over here it's a US letter size, so I'll leave it like this. But we also have multiple more options. By default, okay, it's under document here, you see document, but if you're scanning a picture, you can simply swipe and select photo. I'll leave it to document and to have access to more features, to more settings, click over here and you'll be able to change a few of them. One of the most important one, in my opinion, is the resolution over here. You see it's 200 dpi by default, well if you're scanning some pictures or you know, other stuff that have a lot of details, like maybe a painting, select the highest number. But for a document with text, 200 is enough. Okay, so once you're ready, press scan. And wait. Usually at 200 dpi, it takes around 14 seconds to get the scan on your phone. So just be patient. All right, we got our scan over here. You can resize it by dragging these uh, small circles in case, let's say, you prefer having the file cutting right under the text, whatever, or you can select full so it uh, keeps the full scan. Press next. And now you'll be able to rotate the page that you have scanned and over here you have print preview if you want to print whatever you just scanned. You can have share, if you click here you'll be able to scan it and um, to share it on your social media, email, stuff like that or other apps. And you also have save over here. If you click save, they'll ask you to rename it if you don't like the name. Select a file type, so if it's a text document select basic PDF and press save. You will save it on your smartphone, you just have to decide on which folder you'd like um, this file to go. So let's say I want in uh, my music folder. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you can do over here, press save and the file, the scan got saved in that specific one. Now let me show you how this top document feeder works. Honestly, it's not complicated. Let me just remove this blue tape, extend this small flap over here. Let's say I have these two pages I would like to scan, but this accepts even 15 pages. This is just a demonstration. So place them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side. Like this, until, you see, you go till the end. On the app itself, let me go back on the main menu. So you're going to go and select printer scan the same way, 
but now just to make sure that the scanner knows that you have input something here and it's not trying to scan whatever it's over there on the scanner glass click here on the top and under source select document feeder and that's the only difference the rest can stay the same press scan and take a look what's happening here The scanner will take one by one each pages. You don't have to touch anything and they will come out right over here. It's not able to scan both sides of the page. Okay, so it will only scan whatever is on the top here, whatever you're able to see. And the paper goes out over here. Well, on your smartphone, do the same thing. Honestly, it's the same exact process. On your smartphone, it's the same exact process uh, you can save it or share it on social media but uh, yeah overall this is it